Riker's team is aboard, sir. Help warp one, engage! In the vast universe of Star Trek lore, one name shines bright, Leonard Nimoy. Known and beloved by Trekkies the world over as the iconic Mr. Spock, Nimoy's contributions to the franchise extend far beyond his captivating performances on screen. Yet, amidst the constellation of his achievements, there exists a dark shadow, his disdain for Star Trek Generations, a film that left him disillusioned and disheartened. Star Trek Generations, the inaugural voyage of the Star Trek The Next Generation crew into cinematic realms, was a monumental undertaking for Paramount Pictures. However, its journey was marred by the absence of a key figure, Leonard Nimoy. The actor-director, synonymous with the character of Spock, refused to be associated with the project, citing irreconcilable differences with its narrative direction and character portrayals. For Nimoy, Star Trek Generations represented a departure from the ethos of the franchise, veering into territory that he found disconcerting and divergent from his artistic vision. His refusal to partake in the film, both as a director and as Spock, sent shockwaves through the Star Trek community, sparking debates and discussions about creative integrity and the evolution of beloved characters. Delving into the heart of Nimoy's discontent, one uncovers a tapestry of concerns and critiques that underscored his rejection of Star Trek Generations. Central to his grievances was the film's storyline and characterizations, which he viewed as lacking depth and resonance. Drawing parallels to William Shatner's ill-fated directorial debut, Nimoy lamented the absence of narrative coherence and thematic cohesion. Generations bothered me. My God, what are they doing? Why that scene? What's this scene about? Where are they going with this? That was the reason I wasn't involved in making it. Nimoy's disappointment extended to the portrayal of his beloved character, Spock, whose presence in the film felt inconsequential and devoid of the gravitas befitting his legacy. In Nimoy's eyes, the handling of Spock's cameo epitomized the film's misguided approach to storytelling. There was a character called Spock who had a dozen lines you could easily assign to anyone else, which they did. As tensions simmered behind the scenes, Leonard Nimoy found himself at odds with Paramount Pictures over his impassioned plea for script revisions and creative input. Denied the opportunity to shape the narrative in accordance with his artistic sensibilities, Nimoy's relationship with the studio soured, culminating in his decisive withdrawal from the project. Rick Berman, the executive producer of Star Trek Generations, acknowledged the rift between Nimoy and Paramount, conceding that the actor-director's concerns were not adequately addressed. When Leonard read it, he said, this needs a page one rewrite. I told him no. And we parted ways. It was unusual for us to write a script with no director involved at all. Mr. Nimoy is right that he probably should have had a pass at the script. Despite the discord surrounding Star Trek Generations, Leonard Nimoy's enduring legacy within the Star Trek universe persevered. In a remarkable twist of fate, Nimoy found redemption in J.J. Abrams' visionary reboot of the franchise, starring as the iconic Spock in 2009 Star Trek and its subsequent sequels. Nimoy's triumphant return to the helm of the Enterprise rejuvenated his passion for the character he held dear, marking a poignant chapter in his storied career. As he embraced the mantle of Spock once more, Nimoy transcended the confines of past grievances, forging a new legacy that captivated audiences and critics alike. As we reflect on Leonard Nimoy's tumultuous journey with Star Trek Generations, we are reminded of the complex interplay between creativity and conflict within the realm of cinematic storytelling. His steadfast commitment to artistic integrity and narrative cohesion serves as a beacon for aspiring filmmakers and fans alike, guiding us through the turbulent waters of creative expression. So, as we bid adieu to this captivating chapter in Star Trek history, let us honor the legacy of Leonard Nimoy and the indelible mark he left on the cosmos of science fiction. We should have some kind of a special greeting. And I said, how about this? And there you have it, folks. The saga of Leonard Nimoy and Star Trek Generations, a tale of passion, perseverance, and the pursuit of artistic vision. What are your thoughts on Nimoy's contentious relationship with the film? Share your insights in the comments below, and don't forget to engage with us on all things sci-fi here at On The Inside. Until next time, may you boldly go where no one has gone before. Stay on the inside. Live long and prosper.